Nutty from Nutty Hot Stock. This week I am bringing up another multi bagger hot stock, which in my opinion can give a return of anything between 400 to 450 percent returns from current levels. The name of the stock is Yester Industries. Before I proceed with the chart analysis, I want to inform that I have a WhatsApp group where I provide lot of fresh stock ideas with chart analysis. I also have a uh, teaching course for technical analysis. So if you want to know more details about all this, you can visit my website www.nuttieshotstocks.com. Now let's go to the analysis. The chart we are seeing on screen is the weekly chart. As usual, my analysis will have two parts. First part is I will enumerate the reasons for my bullishness. I will list out the convergence or confluence of various technical elements to support my bullish view. Okay. Next uh, section will be the discussion on likely targets, both medium term, and, uh, medium term and long term. Okay. Let's start the analysis. I will start the analysis first by bringing up this demand zone, this white rectangle that I have drawn, you know, the white channel is the demand zone. Okay, if you look left, it was a supply zone before. Okay, at this, it was a see resistance here, it was a resistance here. So this zone represented by these two levels was a strong supply zone, means selling was coming. But at this point, we had a breakout. See, the stock broke out, came back for retest. As I always keep saying, whenever you have a breakout, you will have a retest. That's what happened. So the stock broke out of this supply zone, came back to retest this to confirm the, now it has become a demand zone. The moment it breaks out and comes back, this zone becomes a demand zone. So the stock moved some distance, of course came back and is now finding support at the median of this zone. We can notice how, how many touch points we are having at this dotted red line. Okay. That's the median of the demand zone. So that is acting as a strong support. But the stock has been trying to break out. If you see, we had a few tries, but failed at times. So every time we tried, again came back, came back. But last week, we had real big breakout. See the green candle. It is, we, we had a 31% up move last week. Okay. So let's, so this is a clear breakout. Let's have a look at the volumes also. See the volume. It's like a Burj Khalifa. Okay, such tall volume. This is an indication that smart money is buying this stock. Okay, big volumes means smart money involvement is there. That's what we have to infer. Okay, next I will bring up the relative strength index RSI also. Okay, see the RSI. RSI is also very bullish. Sixty-five. Anything above fifty is bullishness. Okay. And also, I will show you there is a breakout in RSI also. See, like we draw trend lines on price, we can draw trend lines on RSI also. This red line that I have drawn is the trend line, resistance trend line. It was a resistance. See, it was a resistance here, it was a resistance here, it was a resistance here. But last week, we have had a breakout. So, we had a big bullish candle of 31% up move accompanied by solid volumes and RSI breakout. Okay. Enough reasons to be bullish on the stock. Not enough. Okay. I will show you more. Let me now hide the demand zone. Now what I will do, I will draw an anchored VWAP from here at the lowest point. This green line is the anchored VWAP. Look closely. Like a magic. See? So this anchored VWAP is acting as a strong support. Okay, so this is the another confluence. Not over, okay. I will show you more. Now I will show another anchored VWAP from this high point. See where it is going. Same place. Okay. This is the another convergence. Not over. One more. I will draw another anchored VWAP from this high point. See where it goes. 
same place see how the anchored we have drawn from here from here from here all are going to the same price level okay in addition we have seen i mean it is all accompanied by high volumes rsi breakout all happens because of this but plus it is a median of the demand zone which we have already seen so all this indicates bullishness not over i will show you more this is another channel this white channel what i have drawn connecting the recent highs and the recent lows see the stock finding support at the median see the channel median is like a magnet okay and that is where the stock is coming and taking support okay this is another confluence okay now one more this is the big, the big channel connecting the the highs and the lows for the entire price action okay and with this blue line is the 61.8% median and we can see that that is where the stock is taking support okay so i think we have seen seven or eight convergence of various different technical let me bring up all okay i'll bring up this demand chain bring up this channel okay of course the a we web i'm not bringing it we have seen that so so now we have several reasons to be bullish on the stock but again as i always say never buy anything in one go because market volatility no one can predict okay stocks can always fall for whatever reason so buy some quantity if it falls add more if it falls more add more that is what i call as accumulation okay this stock is a good stock to accumulate that is what we are coming to the conclusion okay so we have bought, bought the stock okay now what is the likely target okay the first target as i see okay is this white line the channel okay now we are taking the stock is taking support at the median so natural uh, target for this stock will be the white line okay or it could even go to the green line which is another median of the bigger channel okay so this is where it is going something like let's assume that it, it will happen in another 4 5 weeks somewhere here it will go so 230 or if it goes here it could be 253 so 230 to 250 okay which is uh, roughly double from current level okay that could be your first target which in my opinion could come in a few weeks 4 5 weeks time or 6 weeks whatever that you could keep it as the first target for traders but if you are prepared to hold long okay my target for this stock is this yellow line the channel top see this big channel top that is where this stock will ultimately go but when it will go it will go the stock will uh, you know uh, uh, trajectory will be uh, something like this you know it will go up down this is how the stock moves so somewhere it will go and meet this yellow line okay but which point it meets no one can say so something like 500 or you can keep a lesser target in case it meets here 480 so 480 500 is what uh, okay the long term target so again that is about 400 okay 400 percent 400 to that's what i say 400 to 450 upside potential is there for the stock if you are prepared to hold for more than a year or two okay thanks for watching